Oh, hey, buddy, you're gonna let me come up to you? I'm not gonna do anything. We're all friends here. Oh, we're all friends. You're okay. Ah. Oh. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. See that big, pretty 420 Boston Whaler in the background? That's what we're gonna be working on. I got my piece of wood here, because if you look, the dock's kind of far away, and I don't feel like climbing over the top of the cowlings in order to get on the boat. So we'll use our piece of wood, jump on, and we gotta diagnose the Fisher Panda. I guess it's got a water leak detected, so we'll take a look at that. And the motors, I guess when you flush them, it's pouring water out of the cowling, so we'll take a look and see what uh, what's happening there. So let's get started. Well, here she is. The new one that we got over there in the yard has triple 600s instead of the four 400s here. But this is a big girl, 42 foot long. Sure shade. Well, let's uh, walk across this here. It's not sketchy at all. Hey, we made it. All right, well, before we do anything, Let's uh, open up our back hatch because our generator is going to be down here, somewhere in the hole here. Actually, don't know much about these boats, but all the Boston wheelers I've seen are pretty nice. So this looks like a good example of one here. You got triple Ray Marines while you're switching here. Of course, joystick and all that stuff you're going to have. Trim tabs. Let's see if we get in the cabin here. Oh, wow, much bigger than I expected. That's pretty cool. It's got like a rounded staircase that goes up to the door here. Let's see. Oh, no bowl sink. That's disappointing. Nice bathroom though. It's got a nice carpet on it. And get the shower that runs around there for you. I see plenty of room in there. It's pretty big. Your sink, refrigerator here. Now you can sit in here, you got your table. You rod holder storage in here. This is just a big fishing rig for sure. You got all natural lighting right here. Real simple, but real nice. Oh, you got TV. There's more uh, natural lighting here too. And you got it above you here. So it definitely would be bright, nice and bright in here if you want it to be. All right. Oh, you got a stair. It takes you up to the front here, so it's raised up some. You got big seating. This is all storage under here. Table raises up and down. And canvas that goes here, windlass. All the usual stuff. Little stereo controls. Lots more storage in the gunnels here. I think it's got lots and lots of speakers. It's a nice one. Let's get this back hatch opened. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow, that's cool. It's a seat in the gunnel. You can sit on the side here. That's a cool idea. Of course, you got your dive door on the side. More seating back here. And seating, seating, so this thing holds a lot of people. You can only guess, you got a grill, sink, everything. Refrigerator, storage, freezer. All right, let's move our cord, enough of that. It's a nice boat, I think everybody can agree. Well, she's clean and there's our Fisher Panda well let's get down in the hole here we'll take this cover off and we'll see if we can see anything leaking or water marks or anything I can almost guess that the water pump is the culprit here but let's take a look and get this off all right try not to step in this whatever soapy water that's down here but here you can see we got rust the water pump is right there we zoom in here so we can see right there is our seals on the water pump and they have been spitting water out for a while. Right there. So our water pump needs to be replaced. I wouldn't suggest to uh, rebuild it because it looks like it's pretty far gone now. What happens is the seals that ride on the shaft in there start to groove and then if you rebuild it, that shaft doesn't get replaced. The main shaft that the, the impeller rides on. If you just reseal it, a lot of times this will just come back 
and start leaking again after you know 10 20 hours so I re I'm gonna recommend replacing this whole thing here because we won't have that problem again and if you want to you can always replace or rebuild this old one you sandblast this if you can clean it up really good rebuild it with new seals and uh, save it as a spare in case the new one fails or you got a problem when you're out in the water it's always good to have a backup but you can see lots and lots of uh, dripping salt water out of it for a while now so we definitely want to clean all this up you know, we got some bonding wires here and stuff that we can sort out no big deal but we're going to get this new pump coming so we can change it I'm also going to recommend I don't see any uh, service intervals on this thing on any of our work orders so we got some nice black oil there but it's got plenty in it definitely uh, recommend changing the oil changing our fuel filters here and the one that's in the boat which is I'm not even sure yet no oh, it's right here so it's got the same uh, Raycor style Parker filter on it that almost all the manufacturers use so I say we replace that filter we got our normal fuel filter rebuild that clean all this up change our oil and uh, this thing should be ready to go so I'm not even going to attempt to run it because we already know we have problems here just by looking at it. And there's a sender for your water detection. It's down here. It's just two wires and when they have water touched together, it activates your uh, alarm inside to tell you that, hey, you got water in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to shut down so we don't suck water into our intake here. because We don't want to breathe any water into this diesel. That would be catastrophic. All right, I know what we need to do the generator. I have to get the parts coming for it. I'm sure we're not going to have that expensive pump in stock, so let's run to these motors here in the back and put the flusher on them and see what the customer's talking about. He said he's got a leak coming from the cowling somewhere when he's trying to flush them and might be hose, something like that, so let's diagnose. All right, well, I was just looking to see if I was going to flush each one of these individually, but I noticed we got city water and engine flush right here, so we're going to hook this up. Uh, it looks like it has a reverso pump on it, so I'll we'll have to get the boat lit up here with batteries and we'll see if this works and as they flush we'll look and see if anything's coming out of the cowlings or if it's doing it correctly. Alright, let's go in our hole, turn our batteries on. Let's grab us a hose here. Alright, get our hose in here. water oh, he's got that beast running over there formula with 8.2's in it sounds good all right let's push our button here all right you see right away it's just spraying out of the uh, flush fitting right here which means the check valve on the top has failed so we'll pull the cowling and I'll show you that but I guess we're gonna have to let it go to every motor and see how many we have that have failed. So we got one. Turn that pressure down a little bit since we're leaking. All right, we're off the far starboard. Now we're on the center starboard and it's doing the same thing, blowing out of the thing here. So I'm just gonna say we should change all four of them just to make sure. Because if two of them are doing it and these two are not, it's likely they're going to in the future. We can turn this off. Let me pull this cowling real quick and I'll show you what the, the deal is and why it's doing it. All right, we got the cowling off here. This is a L6, which is a supercharged Verado. This is the generation before the new style ones. If you look, right here on the port side of the cowling, there's our flusher right there. That's where it was spitting water out. You gotta follow this hose and basically it sneaks through here behind that uh, air water cooler here our intake and it comes up right here so this is bad and the reason is there's a valve that basically is just a ball in the spring it lets water in but not out so it's letting water go this way right now so it must be hung up or whatever I've seen this before but that is what needs to be changed out this whole assembly we'll have to order four of them since we got four of them here well that's good news there's actually uh, nothing crazy wrong with any of this stuff here that the customer was complaining about. Obviously we need to uh, fix our leaking Fisher Panda and do a service on that. That'll be good. And then replace all four of our flush valves here on these uh, outboards. Other than that, 
this boat's nice. He has no other, no other complaints at all. So I need to run in there behind all those big, pretty boats there and uh, get some parts on order. And maybe if uh, I get a chance to, if I'm the one that works on this, I'll return and we'll make a video of fixing all this stuff. So as always, I appreciate everybody watching and I will see you next time. Later. Well, hey, Mr. Regal. Haven't seen one of you in a while. Maybe someday I'll get to work on you.